and deeply relaxed. You are now open. You are now relaxed. You are now willing to be balanced and healed. You are now willing to be transformed and unconditionally loved. So in your mind's eye now, I want you to invite your four angels to come and join us, to support us with their love, light and healing energy. As you remain in your cocoon of white light, see, feel or imagine and know the four angels joining us now. Any way, shape or form you imagine them or see them is perfect. See how the angels arrange themselves around you. One is above your head, one is at your feet and one is on either side of your body. Feel how their energy connects with your energy and how they easily and gently lift the bubble of white light that you're in. The angels are asking you for permission to lift you higher and higher and higher and ask that you allow yourself to relax in their arms. Allow yourself to float, feeling safe and protected. The angels are carrying you through time and space. They have been listening to our conversation today and they are traveling with you to the perfect moment in time to the exact moment in time where the root cause and the origination of where your soul learnt to punish itself through the form of self-sabotage that is impacting your life today so we're asking the angels to move exactly to that original point in time now no matter how far ago it was they're lifting you and carrying you now <coughs> are you there already Katie yeah okay what do you see Where are you? Are you outside or inside? I'm outside. Okay, and what's happening? There's lots of people and I'm I'm running, I'm scared. You're scared, okay. So you're Someone's you're chasing me. Someone's, I've I've taken so I've stolen something. You've stolen something? And they're chasing me. They wanna kill me. Okay. So um, find somewhere safe to hide. Let me know when you've got there. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, catch your breath. Everything's okay, you're safe. Okay, now I want you to have a look at, at your hands and tell me what it is that you're carrying that you stole. Food. I'm hungry. You're hungry, okay. And my children are hungry. Okay. So does that mean you're a female? Yeah, female. Okay. And it's the year 1555, just up town. 1555? And where are you, Katie? What town? Or what language do you speak? I'm in England. You're in England? And can you tell me what you're wearing? Rags. Rags. 
Do you have any idea how how old you are? I'm in London. You're in London? How old are you, Katie? 22. 22. And how many children do you have? Five. Five children. Okay. And uh, what's your name? Matilda. Matilda. Okay. And uh, Matilda, um, what what kind of food have you stolen today? Is it very much or is it just a crust of bread or? I've only, I've, I've hardly got anything, just some fruit. Okay. All right. Now, um, can you move this scene forward in time so you can get home to give this f food to your children? No. No? I'm not, I don't know. I'm not going to make it. You're not going to make it? No. Are they, are they chasing you? They okay. found me. They found you? Okay. If it's distressing you, float up high. Mm. Okay, float up, up and high. You're okay. You are safe, Katie. It's okay. You've already lived this life. You're just you're just viewing it, okay? All right. So we're just bearing witness for Matilda, so we can see and understand what happened to her. All right. Okay. It's all right. You can let out the emotion. You are safe in time. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So what I want you to do is, um, is Matilda dying right now? They're yeah. They're taking her away. They're taking her away. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I want you to um, go to fast forward so that you don't become distressed, and just witness the spirit leaving her body. Float up on high so that you can gain a sense of peace. Yeah? You feel a bit more peaceful now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is M Matilda has passed on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, it's important for us to acknowledge that that happened to Matilda it's part of your soul's journey and it's it is distressing it's very distressing but it's important to see what she went through to feed her children okay so what I want you to to um, ask yourself of that time Matilda is what did she learn from that lifetime that is impacting you today what is it that happened at the moment of death that she vowed? They're going to kill me. And it's hard and my children are going to die without me. And what, what was your regret? I didn't get back to you. Okay. And what did this lifetime teach you about money? There isn't any. There isn't any? Okay. Not filled with me. Okay, so um, would you like to receive some guidance from your angels and spirit guides in relation to this lifetime? Yes, yes okay. All right, so um, spirit guides and angels, we would like you to come into this scene now. Uh, we don't need you to take us up into the life between lives, but we need you to infuse us with knowledge and healing right now so that Katie can really understand the spiritual insight that was to be gained from this lifetime. 
What was the reason that her soul needed to experience this particular situation and this awful situation for her soul? Why did she need to go through this? It's part of all evolution. Part of evolution, okay. Not, not personal. Not personal? Not personal. Not personal, okay. And uh, can they give you an insight into the strengths and the positive qualities that you, as Katie, have gained from Matilda's lifetime? What residues that are positive have carried through to today? Resilience and strength. And what would Determ that, sorry? Determinate determination. Mm -hmm. Willpower. Focus. And what would Matilda like to tell Katie? You don't have to live like what now, it's not like what now. Does she have anything else to say to you, Katie? Is she asking you to release the attachment to her? It doesn't have to be hard. You, you can. It's easy for you. The world's changed. You've got access to limitless supplies of food and abundance and knowledge and wisdom. It wasn't like that for me. Um, what has Matilda got in her pocket? Gold coin. Reach out and take it. What does she say to you when she gives it to you? So this is your lucky omen. You could say. Remember, you've got different choices. Okay, Katie, it's really important that we witnessed Matilda's struggle today and I'd like you to give her um, a hug. I want you to let her know now that you have witnessed her struggle. She's, she's held on to this for such a long time. Nobody knew what happened to her. Nobody saw her struggle to feed her children. Now you've seen it. She shared her sorrow with you and you have witnessed what happened to her. Okay, so send her loving energy and I want you to take her hand, give her a kiss on her palm and then I want you to release her because she wishes to be released. This part of your soul wishes to go and enjoy eternal rest and she needs you to release that part of her, that part of her experience that has come down through all time because she knows and she's just told you that it is no longer serving you but there is part of your soul that is still holding on to that experience. So I need you to, with all your heart, 
acknowledge that it happened and that it's time to let it go. So let her go and let her fade off and the angels are going to escort her to the heavenly realms now where she will receive healing. Let me know when she's gone. Yeah? Okay, great. Well done, you did well there. Now, Katie, um, I want you to ask your angels if they would like to take you to another moment in time that is going to help you in a really important way in relation to any other instances of self-sabotage and self-punishment that need to be released today. So I've already got a year. Okay, where are you now? 1753. 1753. And are you inside or outside? Outside. Okay, and what's happening? There's just lots of green around me. Like, yeah. It was like a farm. A farm? Okay. And if you can see your feet, have a look down at your legs and tell me whether you sense feminine or masculine energy. Masculine. Masculine. Okay. And um, if you could imagine what you looked like, what do you look like? I'm big and strong. But um, long long hair and a beard, dark hair, big feet, and I feel proud, this is mine. This land is yours? This is mine. Okay. And did you work hard to get this land? Yeah. And what kind of farming do you do? Animals. Animals? And uh, any idea how old you are? 33. 33. And your name? Gerald. Beautiful, thank you. I also got that. And um, Gerald, can you uh, take us to where you live, please? We would like to see your house and the people that you live with. Can you find a house? Yeah, I've got a farmhouse and it's, it's it's not much, but it takes care of us all. My parents are here, mm -hmm. my wife, my children. How many children do you have? Seven. Seven, goodness. And uh, your wife, what's her name? Vanessa. Vanessa? Okay, take a good look in Vanessa's eyes. Do you know her? Yeah. Who is it? Katie's daughter. <laughs> Katie's, Vanessa is Katie's daughter, okay. Lovely. And how do you feel about Vanessa? I love her and I work hard to support her. And how does she feel about you? She loves me too. We're strong, we're a strong unit. But we, we really, really work hard. Okay. 
and um, have a look at your parents. Can you find them in the room? They're not well. They're not well. And um, what about their energy? Look into their eyes. Oh. Tired. Worn out. They help too. They help? Okay. And uh, have you been in a life with them before? No. No. Okay. Um, move over to your children. Tell me a bit about your children. Thomas is the eldest. Mm -hmm. He's nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he's the leader of the pack. Okay. He's like me. Mm -hmm. And then there's Josie. Josie. He's eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She loves dancing around. She could be a bit bossy sometimes as well, because she's the oldest girl. <laughs> Thomas puts her in her place a bit. Who's next? Twin, the twins. There's seven. Boy and a girl. <laughs> Lily? Mm -hmm. Leo? <laughs> They're inseparable. They're funny. They wound everyone up as well. <laughs> Have we met Leo before? Not this Leo, but no, no, there, is no. A, there is a Leo. My yeah. spirit guide is Leo. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, who else is there? So we've got Thomas, Josie, twins. George. George. He's really quiet. He loves storytelling. <laughs> and and making up stories about the other children that aren't true. <laughs> yeah, he's hanging off my leg. He wants to come with me, but he's a bit young to do this. Is there one more? The baby. <laughs> She's just giggling. Daisy. <laughs> and out of all those children, have you had a life with any of the children before? Hey, I can see one of my aunties. <laughs> one of your aunties? Which one is your auntie? 
Marie, my dad's sister. Auntie Marie, and which child is she represented in? Lily. She's she's Lily. Okay. Beautiful. Anyone else? Thomas. Thomas. And who is Thomas? Amy, my son. He's the eldest as well. Okay. Anyone else? Daisy. And who's Daisy? Daisy's is my mum. <laughs> Got a cast of all stars here. Anyone else? Or is that it? Okay, beautiful. Okay, so you have a lovely family. Now, uh, we were brought here to see something very specific, okay? Along the theme of self-punishment, self-sabotage, and lessons that you learnt about money that are impacting you negatively in, this, in your current lifetime as Katie. So please ask yourself of that lifetime. <sighs> I don't, do we even know your name? I'm not sure if we've asked your name. Oh, you're Gerald, aren't you? Sorry. Um, Gerald, can we go to that scene, please? Show yeah. us the scene. What's happening? What do we need to see? It's um, it's hard work. It's hard, hard work to bring in the money to to keep this going, but I can't scare the rest of the family, so I've got to be strong and keep going. We'll do it. We'll get there. We we'll keep working hard. And is there anything particular that we need to see? Some any kind of actual impact of the hard work? Does it cause wear and tear in mm. your body? Or my Ill? parents, my parents are really ill and frail from working hard. But there's, there's no other choice. It's got to be done. And I've got to teach my children. It's the only way to survive. One day it'd be easier for them. Okay, can you fast forward to another scene that's important for you to see today? If there's nothing else important, then go to your last day. <laughs> Pain in my chest. Okay. It's all yours now. I can't do any more. I've done my bit. And how old are you when you're ready to pass? 42. 42? Okay. Quite young. All right, so I want you to uh, float above your body and witness your passing. Witness the spirit leaving your body without any pain and I'd like you to let me know if you wish to follow the light this time yes please okay so follow the light let me know if you see something that's bright or beckoning to you mm. what do you see
right yes Yeah. Okay, and go towards the spirit. Who is it? It's my friend, yes. Yeah. He's an angel. Lovely. Now, uh, where does he want to take you? Does he want to take you to a healing room? Yes, it's, it's she. She. Sorry, I couldn't hear her name. So just follow her to the yeah, hill. Yeah, she wants to take me to, uh, <sighs> to rest. Rest? Okay. Oh. What? What's happening? She just reminded me of a trauma in this Katie's lifetime of her. Oh, what was that? It was a road traffic accident. She's saying you haven't, you haven't um, released that. Okay, haven't released the road traffic accident. That was our, our last time we were together. Yeah, and I was a child, and I was there, stroking her face, and cradling with the chill. Okay. <sighs> yeah. He's just clearing the energy for me. Okay. What's happening now? Has that healing finished? It's, it's, it's finished and, and, and I can see a big bright light surrounding me. Okay. And uh, what does she want you to do now? <clears throat> she wants me to bathe in the light. Okay. Take your time and tell me when it, when you're finished. I'll just be here waiting.
Mm -hmm. So, 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 so easy to my body. Okay. Okay. And does she have any healing that you need to do to release things from your life as Matilda? She's just saying she's just cutting all of the cords. Okay, cutting all the cords? Those lifetimes and, and this lifetime. Okay, cutting the cords in those lifetimes and this lifetime. Perfect. Go home. She's saying you're home now. Did you say? You can go home. Oh, you can go home. So you can go back home to Katie's safety. lifetime. Yeah, safe. You can go home. Now. And you can call on me any time you can feel the need to release anything that's holding you back. Okay, beautiful. <sighs> so take your time, just take this time to just to be with her and um, we will get ready to go. If there's no, no other lives that you need to visit and it's time for you to go back to your life as Katie Carey. So I just want to, um, she's just done some magical, amazing work there, cutting the cords. Um, I want to let you know that the work that you have done today in witnessing the two journeys of your soul and your soul counterparts um, has helped you to release any outdated vows or mental and emotional residues that were blocking and slowing your path and that um, this is now released your soul has agreed to release you've had angelic assistance to release so all vows, bonds contracts and cords have now been officially cut and severed they now no longer have any impact on your daily life as Katie Carey your subconscious mind's mind understands it has resolved and healed past life influences and has broken all bonds now. So we now release outdated past life influences into the white light of spirit. The angel has done this as well for you. You have done amazing today, Katie. You can continue to reaffirm positive vows about the fact that it is safe to feed your children. You always have money for food. You always have money for yourself. It is, you are always safe and you are not endangered by going out to work or having a career or running a business. Your life is never at risk when trying to earn money and that you bring in money in ease and joy and flows into your life with grace. You have done the work in previous lifetimes so you now no longer need to worry about hard work being the only way to earn income. It is your divine birthright as Katie Carey to have income come in with ease, joy and grace and it flows in without any form of resistance abundantly you're always safe so I would like you to turn to your angel friend and thank her for her assistance I'd like you to thank your higher self for assisting us in this journey today and I'd like you to thank Matilda and Gerard for their assistance and showing us their very special stories and allowing us to witness their journey today. 
If there's not any last advice your angel can give you, then we will begin to drift away. Okay, drifting away from these scenes now. Drift away, float away. Allow yourself to drift away from these scenes. Akunaketa. 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 Haska. Haska. Sinokuta. Sinokuta. Sui. Sui. Kinokuta. Information will continue to be provided to you by your higher self, your guides and your angels in your dreams and in your waking moments as intuition, signs and inspired thoughts. Your dreams will be more vivid over the next few nights and you will remember them more clearly than ever. Now it is time to return back to your present life. You will remember everything you experience very clearly. Any time you listen to this recording and do a regression, you will always receive guidance, healing and help from your angels. And it will be a very transformational, healing and pleasant experience. The angels are now transporting you back through the bubble of white light and into the field under the tree where your body has been resting. Now I will count from five to one as I play the chime again. On the count of one, you will be back in the present moment in your own room, feeling awake and refreshed, and you will feel wonderful. As I count you down from five to zero, five, let the realization that you have been able to break the bonds of time sink in. You are now free of residual energy from past lives that have been a cause of present life issues, creating appropriate feeling healing effects in the present life giving yourself permission to let go and be in the present moment. Now you, you have done great. Five, four, three, two, one. You can <sighs> open your eyes. <laughs> that was a big journey. <laughs> <laughs>